Welcome to our channel, Love Ireland. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Today we explore the question. What is the Rock of Dunamis? Dunamis or Rock of Dunamis is a rocky outcrop in County Leash, Ireland. It rises 46 meters, 151 feet, above a plain and has the ruins of Dunamis Castle. An early Hiberno-Norman defensive bastion overlooking the Sleeve Bloom Mountains. It is close to the N80 road between the towns of Port Leash and Stradbally. Why is the Rock of Dunamis historically significant? Excavations in the 1990s showed that the rock was first settled in the 9th century, when a fortress or dun was built on the site. The earliest known settlement on the rock was Dun Mask or Mask's Fort, an early Christian settlement sacked by the Vikings in 842. In 845 the Vikings of Dublin attacked the site and the abbot of Terriglass, Ede, son of Dub the Crick, died there. There is no clear evidence of a settlement from the 10th and 11th centuries. The Rock of Dunamis Castle was constructed in the second half of the 12th century. When the Normans arrived in Ireland in the late 12th century, Dunamis became the most important Hiberno-Norman stronghold in Leash. At Dunamis, Dermot Mac Maruff, King of Leinster, took the wife of Arok, King of Briefn, after kidnapping her. With the help of the O'Connor clan, the Arochs and the O'Connors drove Mac Maruff out of Dunamis and he fled Ireland. Mac Maruff married Dunamis and his daughter Efer into the Norman conqueror Strongbow in 1170 as part of a deal to enlist his help in retaking his lands. Then followed the Norman invasion of Ireland when Strongbow accompanied Mac Maruff along with many men to attack and retake Mac Maruffer's lands. Later, with the marriage of Strongbow and Efer's daughter and heiress, Isabel, the castle passed into the hands of the Marshall family. William Marshall, who later became Regent of England in the minority of Henry III, had five sons, all of whom succeeded him in succession and died without issue. Thus in 1247 the Marshall's lands were divided among William's five daughters. Dunamis fell to Eva Marshall and then to her daughter Maud, who was married to Roger Mortimer. The castle remained in Mortimer's hands until 1330, when another Roger Mortimer was executed for treason. By the time the Mortimer family was rehabilitated, the castle was apparently no longer under Norman control. It seems to have become a decayed shell in 1350. From the 1400s to the 16th century it was part of the land of the powerful Omor family, now more Ofera, who ruled County Leash for several hundred years until the 16th century when they met great resistance from the English. Rory Omor defied the British. Therefore, County Laius is still nicknamed Omor County. The castle belonged to Rory Omor, Lord of Leash. The Omors left the castle and moved to Kildare, on lands granted to them in 1574 by Rory Omor's cousin, Elizabeth I of England. In 1751, the Omor family became the more O'Fara family. The family had been reduced from one of the most powerful Irish families to a standard aristocrat, although they had a peerage in the 17th century and then a baronetcy in the 19th. The Moro Ferrells are still entitled to use their Irish title of Lord of Leash, and the head of the family is sometimes called that. Despite the change in status, however, the family has played an important role in Irish history since moving. The old castle did not take part in the Cromwellian Wars. It was despised in 1650 to prevent its use. In the late 18th century, Sir John Parnell began building a banquet hall within the ruins, and the work adopted medieval architectural details from other sites in the area. Is Rock of Dunamis free? There is no visitor center or entrance fee and the hilltop location offers beautiful views of the countryside. It is free to wander around the site without a guide and an audio guide of the Rock of Dunamis is available on the Leash City Council website. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, Love Ireland. And don't forget to hit the bell notification.